Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and today I'll be doing your money, wealth, finance, prosperity and abundance reading for the month of January 2023. If this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I will be using my original tarot deck. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. And then I will close out your reading, Sag, with a Work Your Light Oracle card. So, um, I'm feeling pretty good about your reading for January, Sag. And the cards are already starting to show up, so we're going to get right into it. All right, Sagittarius, as we move into January of 2023, we got the moon card in the reverse. That's a really good card to have in the reverse because it means that something is revealed to you, something that you need to know. You actually get that information or someone tells you something or you learn something that totally changes the game, okay? Because we're talking about money and finances. A lot of times this could be uh, something educational as it relates to financial literacy or it could just mean that you learn something that you realize, oh wow, I can make money at this or this will uh, help me to uh, improve what I'm doing so I can make more money or it would help me advance in my current work or help me expand in my business. So whatever the case is, uh, you're definitely going to get some new information coming your way that will improve your financial situation. Next up, we do have the Fool card. Now the Fool card is a card that talks about um, starting a new adventure, starting a new journey. I think some of you will be starting businesses in January, and I also think that some of you will be looking into transitioning into a new job or a new career. Uh, next up, we have the Five of Wands in the reverse. Another good card to see in the reverse because that talks about improved communication. So it looks like, you know, the people around you are understanding you and you are understanding those, especially when you have conversations as it relates to money. Next up, we have the Magician card. Now, the Magician card is the card of alchemy. It's also the card of being resourceful and actually making what you want to happen. And it happens because you are creative or you have new ideas or you just take what you know and you uh, somehow turn that into something profitable. It's a very powerful card because it means that you, you, know, you have everything that you need in order to create the life that you desire and you tap into those resources in a very um, strategic and a very positive way. Next up we have the hangman. Now the hangman is kind of a funny card because sometimes when he shows up it means that we're kind of hesitating and we're not moving forward for one reason or another. Sometimes it's the card of stagnation, sometimes it's the card of refusing to actually grow or progress because we get really complacent and comfortable with where we are and what's familiar. So again, this is something that you need to be aware of because if you have big goals about making more money or being more successful, it's going to require you to be uncomfortable. It's going to require you to really kind of step out of your comfort zone and really become aware of what it's going to take for you to have that experience, okay? Now, this is something I struggle with too, so I understand, you know, sometimes we get very, very comfortable, but um, if we want more, we're going to have to break through that. And finally, we do have the Three of Swords in the reverse, another good card to see in the reverse, because this talks about healing from something emotionally painful. Now again, once we kind of heal uh, certain emotions, that allows us to have more energy to create the life that we desire. And it definitely helps you make more money because now you don't have that energy stuck somewhere. So it's a good thing. You're definitely making progress, Sagittarius, and you're definitely um, kind of putting yourself in a position to win, and that's good. All right, so as we continue on with your reading, we have that Four of Cups in the reverse. Now, the Four of Cups in the reverse talks about you being presented with something, and it may not necessarily interest you, but you still take the time to kind of research it. So, um, if an opportunity comes your way and it looks like one, at least one will be coming your way as we move into the second week of January, 2023, 
take your time and don't say no too quickly, all right? Because there could be some potential there and there could be an opportunity there and you don't want to miss out. Okay. Ooh, nice. All right, Sagittarius, next card we have is the Queen of Swords. Now, this is the card of removing what is unnecessary. Of course, because we're talking about money, sometimes we have to cut back on unnecessary expenses. Other times, it means that maybe sometimes there's some relationships that we need to cut out, right? So you're going to have to make that call for yourself, Sag. But I do get the sense that you will actually do this. You will take action and you will eliminate what is unnecessary. Sometimes when it comes to being successful, it's not about doing more, but it's about doing less. And that's what this card represents, right? So um, it's not about being, being busy, it's about being productive. Now the Queen of Swords, she's not someone who's irrational either. She makes these decisions after a lot of thought and consideration. So I do feel, Sagittarius, that that's going to be you as well. Next up, we have the Eight of Cups. That's you graciously walking away from something. Now, I do feel like these two cards are related because the Queen of Swords is about eliminating and then the Eight of Cups is about you graciously walking away with no regrets. Okay, so it could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be an agreement that just no longer serves you. But because we're talking about money, I do get the sense that this is going to be something that has a financial tie to it in some way. Next up, we have the High Priestess and the Sun card. Both of them are in reverse, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. They're still very good cards. The High Priestess is just reminding us to trust our intuition. Trust your gut instinct because I get the sense that maybe you already have a feeling about something, Sagittarius, but you're thinking, oh, well, maybe that's not right. But again, if it's coming from your intuitive side or if it's coming from your gut, you really need to honor that, okay, because that is what is leading you exactly where you want to go. Now, sometimes uh, we do ignore those gut instincts, you know, for whatever reason, but the High Priestess card in the reverse is reminding us not to do that. Uh, next up, we have the Sun card. Again, that's another positive card. doesn't matter how it shows up in my readings. It means the answer is yes. It means that you're going to be celebrating. It means that things are all good. It's positivity coming your way. Uh, it may just be to a lesser degree, but it's still going to be good, okay? So, you know, that's a really good comforting card to see. And it's also a card of confirmation that you're on the right track, you're doing the right things right now, and you're doing the best you can, and it is paying off. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what else shows up for you as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of January 2023, what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? All right, Sag, things just keep getting better as we move into the second half of January. We have this Four of Wands in the reverse. Now, that card is telling us that there could be some things that are a little bit unstable, especially financially right now, but it's okay because it looks like you're going to rectify that very quickly. But as we move into the second half of January, pay attention to where things may feel a little shaky for you as it relates to your money. You know, does your savings need to be beefed up a bit? Do you need to kind of rework your budget in some areas? Uh, that's what this card is bringing to our awareness. So I think it would be good to kind of reevaluate your, your financial situation and make sure that you're feeling solid in all areas. Uh, next up, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That means you're going to be working independently. Again, not surprising. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles talks about you just kind of doing your own thing in your own way. And again, uh, I'm not surprised because Sagittarius, you're a very independent thinker and sometimes you work best when you work alone. Next up, we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a card of timing. It means things happen quickly, things happen fast, things actually happen ahead of schedule. So depending on what you got going on as it relates to financial situations or financial money projects or business things, looks like things are going to be happening ahead of schedule and that's definitely going to be good, <laughs> you know? Things happen ahead of deadline, so that's very exciting. Now we have the Two of Pentacles. This is a card of budgeting, again. Uh, I do think that this is kind of 
These cards here are kind of telling me to tell you, Sag, that you really need to pay attention to your budget at this time, okay? Make sure that you have allotted enough money for all the things because um, I think that's going to allow you to feel a lot more confident and a lot more secure. Next up, we have the star card now. The star card is a very positive card. Uh, this talks about uh, not only health and vitality and healing, but it also talks about you just kind of attracting a lot of attention and a lot of good energy is just flowing towards you. Now, of course, this helps you make more money, but you also have to uh, understand that the attention that's coming your way, it's creating an opportunity for you to make more money. So don't um, feel uncomfortable about monetizing any attention that comes your way. Now this could be something on social media, it could be something in your workplace or your business, uh, whatever the case is, all eyes are going to be on you and you are definitely going to be a star. Finally we have the Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is a mindset card. It's always funny when I see that card because sometimes it reveals, you know, how we like what our perspectives are as it relates to money. Now the Five of Pentacles, that is a card that kind of reflects a mindset of thinking that we're in lack or limitation or that we don't have enough, right? Now sometimes that creeps up because a lot of us, you know, it's so ingrained that um, we don't have enough, that we don't have, you know, abundance in our lives. So this is just something to kind of remind you to check your belief system as it relates to abundance and prosperity and also to be aware of maybe some decisions that you're making in your life that could be causing you to feel like you're in lack or limitation okay but because this card is in the upright position I don't get the sense that this is something that's going to last very long but we all have those moments where we feel a little bit insecure as it relates to finances even you know, millionaires and billionaires, uh, you know, have these feelings too. So again, it's just kind of, uh, kind of a heads up to kind of check yourself and remind yourself that yes, you are abundant in all ways. And sometimes it just requires a shift in perspective in order for you to kind of change what you believe. All right, Sagittarius, let's see. What else shows up for you as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, abundance for the month of January 2023. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? Now this card kind of fell out, so I'm just going to put, put him here because that's a repeater card. So I think we need to pay attention to it. All right, so we got the Lover's card. Now that's a divine union. The other thing about the Lover's card is I do feel like your personal relationships are going to come into play as it relates to money, Sagittarius. Someone in your family, a partner, a spouse, your children, siblings, uh, there's definitely going to be some personal, personal relationships coming into the picture as it relates to your finances for January of 2023. Now, this is not anything to worry or stress about, but I do get the sense that some of you uh, are gonna have this divine connection with someone and it's gonna totally explode your finances in a good way, right? You know, maybe you and your partner are finally on the same page. Maybe you and a sibling decide to go into business together. Maybe a parent, uh, you know, gives you money to invest. Who knows? But it's definitely gonna be uh, the influence of someone in your personal life that's going to shift and unlock a lot of things, a lot of movement in your financial life, okay? So that's very exciting. It's actually very, very good. Next up, we do have the Page of Wands. Now, that is good news coming your way as it relates to the work that you're doing. Again, this could be anything, a raise, anything, a promotion in your job. Uh, whatever it is that you do for work, you definitely have some good news, a good announcement, a positive thing uh, is being revealed that's definitely going to help you. Next up, we have the Wheel of Fortune card. Now, the Wheel of Fortune card, a lot of the signs have been getting this card this month. That's the good luck card. It's the card of serendipity being in the right place at the right time. It means that uh, things really just shift and work out in your favor. Again, uh, that's a really good card, Sagittarius. 
Again, we have another good card with that Knight of Pentacles. That means financial support is coming your way. And I do think that these two cards are related. Like I said, I feel someone in your personal life is going to help amplify your finances in some way. The Knight of Pentacles talks about financial support assistance coming your way right on time. Again, with the Wheel of Fortune, that means you're in the right place at the right time. Good announcements <laughs> as it relates to your work. So again, uh, Sagittarius, things really just can't be getting any better for you as it relates to money. And you're going to start seeing signs of that towards the end of January. Next up, we do have the Four of Cups. Now, this is a repeater card here. This is a repeater card here. The Four of Cups, remember, we saw him in the reverse the first time. Now he's in the upright position. It means that you definitely have an opportunity. Somebody's giving you an offer. Something's coming your way and you need to consider it. Okay. Again, not every uh, op you know opportunity or offer that comes your way is going to resonate. But you don't want to miss out on something that could work for you. But again, make sure it fits into every, you know, everything else that you're doing because you don't want to be overwhelmed or stressed, you know, trying to pursue something else. Finally, we have the Three of Swords. Now, this card is interesting because this is the card that talked about healing. But I'm wondering if some old emotions are starting to come to the surface again, Sagittarius. Some old feelings are starting to come up and maybe it's kind of getting in the way of what it is that you want to do or how you're feeling you know, about your money. So this is something that, again, needs to be examined by you and you need to go deep and go within and figure out exactly what it is um, that maybe could be holding you back. Are there some feelings getting in the way? Or are you feeling a little anxious uh, emotionally? Again, depending on your situation, um, obviously I won't have any details because this is a general, general reading, but I do think it's something that you need to pay attention to, Sagittarius. Okay, so like I said, your month of January is so good and so exciting. Um, I think that Really, you're just going to see things are going to flow, right? Things are just going to work, and I think that's going to be very exciting, and it's going to be very profitable for you. All right, Sagittarius, let's close out your reading with a Work Your Light Oracle card. Ooh, now, I've never gotten this card before, but I do like it. This card says Anna or Anna. Grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Wow, that's a very powerful card. And I do get the sense that this energy will definitely resonate with you for the month of January, Sagittarius. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. Um... If you have any questions, please drop them down below. I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me. We'll do it all again next month.